Hey, looky here. <laughs> All right, we done the smash burgers. Now I figured out I was running everything way too high. So we're going to turn it down, do some frozen vegetables, some just little corn tortillas, and uh, we're going to eventually get to some cheap steaks. That's actually a, a chunk steak, but these two, I forget what the hell they are. There, I forget. They was like a bottom round steak or something like that. But they had some marbling in there, so I got a couple of steak seasonings and just go make some little tacos, man. A little stir fry. A little stir fry, a little tacos, and it's not going to match at all. We got, I think it's a, some kind of. I think some kind of Chinese stir fry, but we're going to have steak and tacos. And we'll see how it does. We're learning to cook on it. Coming along with good. Made me a little uh, makeshift grill lid there. Gonna try to pinch her down. <laughs> anyway. Maybe that'll help them steam a little bit, you know. I got my, I put my sauce in the vegetables. The, I, you know, I had them all on here and in there. Uh, that's the last of the tortilla shells. Corn tortillas. My sauce. Fish and take in. And now, I'm going to start dropping stuff randomly I meant to do that I'm just going to cook a little bit of pork jowl a little hog jowl whatever y'all want to call it depending on where you're from just to get a little flavor layer before I throw a steak or two on here right on that's what I'm going to do this is just snacking food this ain't really nothing to do with real I just want some flavor on here so all I got is what I dropped that Lord, olive oil, that gum stuff, no doubt lot. Anyway, no, I reckon it's going to be, anyway, I'm going to, too hot. Well, I'm st it's hard to learn the temperature of this thing. There ain't no settings. It ain't like a medium, high, low. You got to twist the knob five times to get it to high, so who knows where it's at, man. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out, but I'm liking this thing. A little piece or two up in here. All right, uh, hang on. Boys, I'll tell you what, this looks good. I don't know, look at there. I'm fixing to have an accident right there. Fixing to flow over the so I'll be back. All right, I had to get a paper towel. Here's how, I don't know where they expect the grease to go on this. It didn't come no grease staff or anything. You just pop that down in there and don't. Flash it over onto that burner here, F U K T. And I'll tell you what, yeah, that'd be a good fire starter. Gonna get down to 20s again, 70 today. Gonna be down to 20 for the low in a couple of days. So, the old washing. So, I think we're good on this stuff. I'll bring you back when it's steak time. If you ain't ever ate pork jowl, I mean, it don't taste. You don't have that bacony, salty flavor cured. It is just, God, kind of like the the king of pork rinds or something. I don't know. Soft and chewy and crispy all at the same time. And that little dark piece of skin. Mmm. Oh my god. That's so good. Anyway, I ain't got nothing to do with this. Damn. <laughs> All right. We cooked some pork chow just for seeing this old grill. Listen to that. The old chuck steak. I don't know if I've got it hot enough or not. Like I say, this is a test done. I'm going to count both sides up a hair. Just get it a little bit warm. 
This is exciting. I tell you what. You keep your damn horse racing and all that bullshit. That's fine. I, I'll do this, man. <laughs> Probably not. Man, spring's finally coming. I've been cutting wood all day, cutting limbs up and stuff. The snowstorm we had tore all the limbs down. Not all of them. More than I wanted to. Yeah, I got my peppers still. I'll turn them just a little bit. Hopefully my pack don't start leaking. That's a kind of an oriental stir fry thing. I have no idea how long to leave this, how hot. I gotta go get a cutting board. <coughs> let's see. Oh, hey, yeah. Hey, let's put it over here on this side. Oh, my God. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. I don't have a scraper or nothing out here. All right, it'll be okay. It looks good. I know. My wife wants one all the way done. <laughs> I usually do one well, the other two. Like if I do this all one, there'll be one medium rare, which we got already done in there. But Man, this thing's looking pretty good. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Yep, this will work in a camping situation, for sure. We won't go hungry, will we? <clears throat> I mean, last night I cleaned it up. Man, just, I let, I let it get cool enough to touch. And I took it in the house and put it in a fresh batch of uh, Dawn dish liquid and scalding the hot water. Let it soak 30 minutes. I just pretty much wiped it off with a rack. It got me an edge. Easy clean up of porcelain. Uh, it's my first go around with porcelain. I've never messed with it. But anyway, man, pretty cool. What do you think? <laughs> that one, Billy? No, I don't. Medium rare, baby. Alright, hang on, I'll show you what we're going to do. Go ahead, all that juicy goodness. Medium rare. We took some chopped onions, we got some cilantro sprinkled in there, some shredded cheese, the steak, and our tortilla. Good Lord. Mm. Man, that's all right. Look at that sucker. Well, there's enough of us picking out, I guess. I don't know. Hey, man, that Coleman Grill did all right. That's some badass food right there. You know? Mm -hmm. Right on, man. We'll see you in a day or two and see what else we're going to fix on this thing. All right. Keep on smiling. <laughs>